Brandon Liebrandt worked a career high seven shutout innings, and Jace Boyd was on fire going three for four at the plate as the Knowles took game one for Virginia Tech five to two on Friday evening. Keeping the good approach, um, the guys in front of me keep doing their job, keep getting on base, keep getting hits, and uh, they make it pretty easy on me. Just keep put the ball in play, and good things usually happen. I take a lot of pride in it, and it's kind of frustrating when you don't do your job, especially as a four hole hitter. That's your do uh, job is to drive those guys in. But uh, I take a lot of pride in it, and I was happy I got the job done today. We did get some timely hits. Certainly, uh, Jace Boyd uh, had two RBIs I know of and, and had uh, some great at-bats. And you just got to you just gotta credit Sherman Johnson again for doing his job as a leadoff hitter. It really, really was impressive. I feel like my mechanics were a lot better tonight. I was able to establish my fastball on both sides of the plate, and that was huge for me. Definitely try to bear down, uh, limit the damage the best I could. I thought if I uh, li limited it to one run, that would be a win for us, but luckily, say if you get two strikeouts and uh, throw up a zero on the board. Brandon's done really well all season. I mean, he may, like, people may say he started off slow, but I mean, coming out as a freshman, he's throwing the ball really, really well, throwing strikes, getting people out, and I mean, you can't ask for anything more. That was a crucial inning for him to get out of that bases loaded no outs. He, he hit very well with his fastball and uh, made a couple of very quality pitches to get himself out of that inning. Going back to fastball command, uh, they uh, were a pretty aggressive team and uh, they uh, gave me some first pitch outs. That was very nice. Um, and then that one inning with the bases loaded, I was surprised I only threw, I think it was like 20 pitches, but throughout the night I was able to definitely come on fastball. Game two between the Hokies and the Knowles scheduled for a 6 p.m. first pitch on ESPN3 on Saturday evening. Mike Compton on the mound for the Florida State Seminoles. On Friday evening, I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.